Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tear, where I've been featuring my personal top 3,000 songs of the rock era from 1954 to 1999. Today, I'm up to number so song number 2837, and that's the first time I list by a very great group called Led Zeppelin. I'm sure you guys have all heard of them. And the song is Good Times, Bad Times. And this was released in 1969. I believe this was their first hit. Uh, and it was just a minor hit. It went to number 80 in the USA. Uh, um, and it was released on their... I mean, they weren't really a top 40 band. You know, they, they, they had a lot of big albums. Uh, and a lot of their, a lot of their most well-known songs weren't even released as singles. Um, but I think they were a really excellent band. They they weren't trying to be a top 40 band. But anyway, uh, this was their first album. It was just called Led Zeppelin. And I guess this was a common theme for them. You know, these big Zeppelins. I think that's the Hindenburg. Um, they use this picture or picture similar to that on a lot of their album covers. Uh, and, uh, you know, like I said, I think they were a really excellent band. I think most people think so. They think, you know, I mean, they're generally considered one of the greatest rock uh, rock bands of all time. They were a hard rock band, especially for the time they came out. I'll give you a little bit of history about Led Zeppelin. So here's a, here's a picture of them early on. Uh, and uh, they, they were formed in 1968. They stayed together till 1980. They were formed in London. And they're members. I don't think they changed any members during the whole time they were they were around as a band, which is pretty unusual. But their their members included uh, Robert Plant. He was the lead vocalist, uh, and also Jimmy Page. He was uh, uh, the lead guitarist. Uh, John Paul Jones. He was the bassist and keyboardist, and finally John Bonham, who was uh, the drummer. So that was them. That's that's Led Zeppelin, and uh, I'll just go through their hits. Like I said, they weren't really a, a hit-making band, but they did have several hits. Most of them were minor hits. Uh, I'll just go through them all. Like I said, their first hit was Good Times, Bad Times. That went to number 80 in the USA. Uh, the next one was A Whole Lot of Love that came out later that year. That was actually their biggest hit. That went to number four. I believe it was their only top ten hit. As well, they never went to number one, uh, which is kind of surprising, I think, uh, considering how great they were and how great a lot of their songs were. In 1970, they had a song called Immigrant Song, which went to number 16. Uh, 71, they had uh, Black Dog, kind of a strange title, went to number 15. I think they've used a different title, this would have been a bigger hit. They probably should go all the Hey Hey Mama. You know, I mean, it's a great song. I think it's a great song. Uh, and it was released on I, my favorite album of theirs, Led Zeppelin IV. This also had, uh, you know, the song that almost everybody considers the greatest of all time. One of the greatest rock songs of all time, I think. Uh, came in very, very high on my list. I'm not going to say how high, but Stairway to Heaven. Uh, I think everybody knows that song. That was not released as a single in the USA. Uh, but it was in the UK, and it went, only went to number 37, which really surprises me. I mean, maybe because it's a very long song. It's like eight minutes long, and, you know, usually songs that are released as singles, they don't like them if they're more than about four minutes. Uh, so that might have been the reason it wasn't a bigger hit. I don't know, but I just think it's a really, really excellent song. Uh, in 72, they had another uh, release from... From uh, Led Zeppelin IV, uh, Rock and Roll, another really excellent song that went to number 47. Uh, 73, they had Over the Hills and Far Away, which went to number 51. Um, and they also had Jermaker or Dire Maker, I don't even know how to pronounce that one. That went to number 20. Um, and then in uh, 75, they had Trampled Underfoot, which went to number 38. And finally, 79, they had Fool in the Rain was shown to number 21. So those were all their hits. Uh, like I said, not a lot of hits and not really big hits. And, you know, it's kind of interesting because, like, you know, I think Led Zeppelin, at least for me, was kind of an acquired taste. Uh, you know, they weren't they weren't one of my favorite bands when I first heard them. Uh, they, you know, like I said, they weren't a top 40 band. They weren't trying to be. They were trying to be more innovative. But, you know, I guess when I first started listening to, to rock and roll, I, I liked the more catchy stuff. So... 
uh, you know, I guess I preferred things like Elton John and and the Bee Gees. But I, you know, I, I thought in Wayne's World was a really great line that Wayne says, uh, uh, Mike Myers in the movie. He said, uh, Led Zeppelin wasn't trying to write music everybody liked. They left that to the Bee Gees. I thought that was a classic line. And that's pretty true, I think. But they are a great band. I think their music's going to survive uh, probably, you know, as long as I can foresee. Uh, I think it'll become classical music in another 100, 200 years. It's already considered classic rock. So anyway, that's my profile on uh, on um, Good Times, Bad Times by Led Zeppelin. You guys rock. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.